Hello, this is the Cobra MX484 SPCE Rotrimar. It's got a 19 inch cut, it's self propelled and it's also got an electric star. And this is the box that it will arrive in, really securely packaged. So what we need to do is to open up the box, take everything out and then I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to put this mower together so that you can mow your lawn. So packed really, really well in there. Lots of padding to stop it moving about. So we're just going to take some of this off. First thing out is the grass collection box there. So we can put that just down there. So we just get rid of all the packaging and, and there we can see is the mower. This is quite a heavy mower. So you are going to need somebody just to help you get it out of the box and then we can put it together. So here we have it. This is the mower that we need to put together now. Uh, everything you need is in this bag. So it's got the operator's manual, it's got the engine manual, and it's got the charger for the battery, because remember this is an electric start one, and it's got the nuts and bolts to hold the handles in place. So the first thing we're gonna do is to put the handles in, and then we can start to do the rest of the work on the mower. The handles are gonna be held into place with these bolts and wing knobs here, which are very easy to fix. So we need to just take those apart to start with. It just makes it easier when we come to actually fix them together so that we've got all the components ready and in place. So there's gonna be two for each side, two that side and two this side. You can do this on your own, but it is easier if you've got somebody just to help you. So Gareth, can I just borrow you for a moment, please? It just means you're not trying to balance everything at the same time. So we're gonna use the bolts and they're gonna go from the outside in. So we're just gonna secure them through the holes like that. And because of the sort of curve on the top of the bolt there, they just sit perfectly into place. And then it's a case of putting the, the winged knob on the inside there and just tightening it up. Just give them a spin like that and that one's in place. Just push this one through and that's in place. So then it's just a case of giving them tighten by hand. These are really easy then, of course, if you want to take them off to fold the handles or to put it into somewhere smaller space. So that holds everything firmly into place. Also with this model, we've just got to make sure that the cables are attached at the top. So let's have a look at those. So the two cables here need to be connected to these two levers. This one is the engine brake lever that is needed to stop and start the mower. And the one at the back is to self-propel the wheel. So it's very easy to do. The levers simply slot out of a hole in the frame. So they pull out like that. And that means we can then loop the end of the cable through and that holds it into place. And then we just bring that back in. And we do exactly the same with the base. So we just pull it out, put that through like that and then just a bit of tension and it goes back in. So we can see now when we push the levers, they are spring loaded and have some tension on them. So just a couple of things to point out. In the bag here, we've got uh, some little plastic clips here. These two black ones go underneath the back flap. So if you lift the flap up, this one has got the mulching plug in at the moment, but these little clips just go into the slots there and there and just push them in. And that means when you hook the grass bag on, it's just got a little bit more to hold it in place. So it is important that you put those on if you're wondering what they're for. And the other thing is the charger. Because this is a battery start, it's an electric start, you don't need to take the battery off to charge it. This is the charger that goes into the mains electric and there's a little plug there that it plugs into. And obviously then this needs to be connected to mains electricity. So when you're charging, it will have a red light and when it's fully charged, it will have a green light. So just to finish the handle assembly, we need to secure the cables into place. At the moment, they are tied together with a cable tie. So we just carefully cut through that and then we can put them in their right place. So this one is obviously going down this side and then these are going to be together on this side. The clips are already on the bar, so we just pull those off. Very simple, put the cable in, clip it back into place. And this one here will hold three, so if I take that one off, and then we can just get our cables, arrange them in a bit of an order, pop them into there, clip that on, and then before we click it finally into place, just space them out like that, 
and we can see that's holding them nice and neatly into place. The only thing we've got to do now for the assembly is a little bit of work on the grass bag, but we'll do that when we get it on the grass. But what I want to do next is to make sure that it's fueled up. So obviously we need petrol and we need oil. The mower comes without any oil in it, so you must put some oil in. But luckily you get a bottle of oil with the mower and this holds 0.6 of a litre and this mower needs 0.6 of a litre so the whole bottle is going to go in. So take out the dipstick and then just slowly pour the contents of the bottle into the filler spout. It's quite a large opening so you don't need a funnel but you can use one if you want but we're just going to gradually pour the entire contents of this bottle. There we go, so that's it, 0.6 of a litre. We know that that's the correct amount. Just to double check before we actually start the engine, we've got the dipstick there so we can see on there that it's come up to the maximum point there. So I know I've got the correct amount of engine oil in there. So that can now just go back in place and make sure it's fixed on properly. And then fuel filler cap is this side and what we need for it is unleaded petrol. So a funnel in there, always use fresh petrol, not stale petrol, and we can just put some petrol straight into the tank, like that. So now we're fueled up with petrol and oil, we can actually start the engine, but we've just got a few more things we need to do first. Just to remind you, the mower you bought has three modes of cutting. Firstly, it collects the grass in this box at the back, but you need to do a little bit of assembly with it. There is a steel frame around the back and we've just got to clip the bag onto it. So it's just a case of carefully prising on that side and then we can do the sides. It's very simple to put on that one there. And then finally, this one here like that. So if you do want to collect the grass, then obviously the box clicks on at the back here. So if we lift the flap, that's where it would go. But when you get the mower, it's already got the mulch plug in the back, which comes out very easily. And we use this where we don't collect the grass. What we do is we fit that into the chute, lock it into place. The grass is chopped very finely and blown down into the grass. So obviously we have to take that out if we want to put the grass box on. And the grass box simply fits into the grooves at the back there and the flap holds it in place. So that's two methods of cutting the grass. And the third method is what we call side discharge. And that's where the grass is literally thrown out the side of the mower, perfect if you've got longer grass. So to do that, you would take off the grass box from the back, you would put the mulch plug back into its position in the back there, the flap down, and then we lift this side flap here with this button, we release it, and then this chute just clips in underneath so the grass then instead of being thrown out the back is thrown out here and it's perfect if you've got longer grass so you've got those three modes that you can use to cut the grass around your garden although this model is an electric start it also has the ability to start on the pull cord so just to put this in place should you need it we pull in the engine brake lever and just gently pull it out and it loops in to this little clip here so that's there should you ever need to do a pull start the electric start button is the red button at the back and it's a key that we push in to fire the engine and in the packet there is a spare one of those should this one ever get lost. Just to have a quick look at the controls at the top here, we've got two levers. This one is the drive lever and we've got four speeds, slow to fast, so one, two, three, four, so it's just a case of selecting the speed you want to mow at and on this side we have our throttle, so it's got a choke and the throttle there, so the choke position would be down to the bottom. As soon as it fires up, we just pull it back a little bit and that gives us the revs that we need to do the cutting. So we're pretty much ready now to fire it up and start, but one last thing you should always do when starting the engine is just lift the mowing deck up off the ground. It just makes it easier to turn the engine round and we're ready to go. To start the mower is very simple. We're gonna put the throttle lever down into the choke position we're going to pull in the engine brake lever and then we just push the red button to start things. And because this is a new engine, it's not been started before, sometimes it just takes a second or two to turn over. Ease the choke back. To stop the mower, we just simply release the lever and it stops immediately. Just remember also, things to keep safe. You've got your 
owner's manual for the mower and the engine, so you need those for future reference. We've got the spare key, should you lose the original one, so keep that somewhere safe. And you've also got the charger, don't lose that. And that's it, you're ready to mow. Happy mowing with your Cobra mower. Remember to register your Cobra online at www.cobragarden.co.uk and always have your Cobra serviced regularly. Check the website for your nearest dealer.